Welcome back everyone to episode uh, 17 or 18. I'm not sure if I released my previous video or not, but um, of Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. So things, a lot of things have happened since the last video, no matter if it was the, if the one I'm thinking about was released or not, but basically uh, we have just started to get our new Bobenberg class involved, which still have the 12 inch guns but they actually have these massive number of uh, 6 inch guns so these are going to be heavy cruiser and light cruiser killers they also have extraordinary armor now there's nothing really great about them because they don't have the larger 12 they're still dealing with only two double 12 inch turrets just double 12 inch turrets it's not that great so um, those guys are still working up. They're not in combat quite yet, but um, we, we've gotten through the blockade, and now we, in fact, are blockading them. So we can see 60 points to 32. We've just crushed them. They're down to no heavy cruisers, only three light cruisers. Tons of destroyers still, but yeah. Now there's a few things I want to get done in this episode. I think we'll start off by designing a new heavy cruiser, because we have enough money. Um, a few things have happened from technology. I think it's been maybe four months since our last... Um, yeah, I think maybe it's been four months since the last video. Maybe five months, I'm not sure exactly, but... We have gotten cross-deck fire, which means the next battleship we build, we will be able to do the... You know, essentially get four turrets firing on each side just by using cross-deck fire. But I'm not going to build a new battleship quite yet. So we just have the new Bobbenbergs coming in. I think the one we have to get next, like I said, is a heavy cruiser. And I want to name this one the St. George II. Of course, it has to be, it has to be after our beloved St. George. And I thought that they might try to do something weird like this. I would prefer, okay, let's look at the gun data. I think nine inches is still better. So eight. 47 versus 9 47 what was it 59 47 12 5 5 12 3 I should say 12 2 yeah it's really it's 59 47 it's not a huge difference though it really isn't Although, technically, if I'm at 8,000 or more, this is the difference between penetrating 5 inches or not, which, as a heavy cruiser, we've seen can be valuable. Now, this takes us over, but they have some insane belt armor here. We don't need that. And, in fact, I'm only going to go to 2.5 for belt extended. Deck 2, deck extended just 1. Conning tower, my gosh, what do they think we're going to be up against here? Let's go down to 9. Turrets, actually turrets of 6 I think is fine, turret tops 2.5, that's fine, secondary 3, that's actually good. Now they've royally messed this one up. I don't want, I want uh, secondary guns, something like 6 each side, we can go with 7, I'd be okay with that. Okay, this would be the Sankt George 2. So let's get this class a little bit lower. I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of speed for um, a bit of cheapness. <laughs> 25, I feel like, is about the right number. We're going to want more than just 110 for ammo, though. So where do we where do we nick off for that? Uh, probably the conning tower. Conning tower of 8 seems okay. 115? These will be really light on ammo, but they have plenty, plenty of secondary guns. So let's update the ship graphic. We still have a ton. Let's see what this has problems with. Okay, we actually have the ability to do torpedoes. So, question now is, are these heavy cruisers going to be projecting power? And what I mean by that is, are they going to leave the local area? I think these might end up being our raiding ships um, outside of the Mediterranean. So we will leave them with medium range, normal priority, and normal. 
so we won't be doing the little freeboard. These will be our our global ships that will be projecting fire. So we're gonna do all that stuff. I don't. Do we have access to oil burning? We do. What the heck? I didn't know that at all. But the difference right now is seventy-five versus eight. Yeah, that's. That can't be. That seems too... Huh. Okay, well, it is what it is, so that's that's that. Now, how much is torpedo defense? Extremely expensive. It'll slow us down. Um, how often... The St. George has never been hit by torpedoes, as far as I know. But torpedoes are going to become more of a thing, so... What if we take the belt extended down? It doesn't really matter, does it? Not significantly. Let's go to the turrets to 5.5. Hmm. You would think that with this big of an engine, trying to get this much speed out of it, it would have mattered significantly. Okay, we'll drop this down. Okay, fine. So six guns per side. That's still pretty good. We're so close. I don't want to drop the ammo down, but... Okay, 7.5. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. It's it's okay. So now we can do this. Alright, the song George 2. Let me think. I just want to make sure everything's okay. So 14,000, are we okay with this? I mean, we could always go bigger. That is one thing, but I don't want to spend too much on these ships. We have currently one, two, three, so double, double, and then four on top of that, yep. So this is gonna give it a six-sided broadside with the nine-inch guns, that's pretty good. This is, this is a decent ship. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I like this. Um, Cross-deck fire, is this actually an option? Yeah, I don't... It might be, though. Why, what, what was the reason? Again? I forget. F, K, G, and J. Oh, right. We eliminate two. Well, let's see if it works. Now we want to add F... Okay. Okay, and now we do cross deck fire and voila. And we've saved ourselves quite amount of uh, quite a significant amount of weight. So we can actually lower this to 13.5. In fact, what if we just try to gain back that knot? Wow, we really can. Huh, interesting. So we still have plenty of space. We can first of all take our ammo up. Can we take our... No, probably can't get that. Oh, we almost can. Hmm. But no. No, we're not going to be able to. Yeah, it's just... Well, okay, we... 7 versus 6, what's the difference anyway? Yeah, now that she has these main guns, the 6-inch guns are really going to be secondary, so that doesn't matter. We'll take this one up, because now we want more ammo for them. And let's get this conning tower a little higher. How much is it to go up too much? And this will be way too much. Guess we can do now. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Okay, what about this? Okay, that works. And now. Very good. Okay, I like this. So this is a really impressive St. George too. She still gets off a six-sided broadside, but she just fires only in one direction because these guys will cross over. This one will fire on this side. This one will fire on this side. Again, there are some angles. Oh, yeah, I was talking about this in an episode. I didn't end up airing. <laughs> if you're wondering, by the way, why there's been a delay in episodes, it's because I am recording these episodes and then I just don't end up being able to publish them because they're not really very good. So I probably will release the episode before, which was the, the battleship 
the one where we sunk a battleship and almost lost the tiger. I think I'm going to record uh, post that one. And this is the reason why, because <laughs> uh, it was a decent fight, and it's the last one before we do all this design work. Okay, so St. George, you're good. And we will go ahead and build her. The first one's always going to be, of course, the name herself. <clears throat> How much was that? I'm kind of silly. I didn't really look at the... See, maintenance costs of 240. You look at that and you just go, well, that's kind of a lot. Considering the maintenance cost on my battleships is only like 300 or 340 or 380. Yeah, 240 is actually okay. That's a good ship to project power. So, I, yeah, you know what? I'm very happy with that. Give me three more. It's probably all we can do with our budget, but there we go. So plenty of Bobbenbergs coming into play. Unfortunately, those are really now all outclassed by the fact that we could use cross-deck fire. Um, but we will have four really good St. George 4s coming in. And look, at it, it kind of makes sense. George, St. George 2, we have the Kaiser Carl 6 and some really long name that is ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, Schwarzenberg. Very good. So let's get into some more fights. All our destroyers are now available, and both other battleships. Great. <clears throat> okay, there's that, or that, or that. Hmm. I think that this is not the time for complaints. Does this raise our unrest? I hope to God not. It does. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Just shush, people. Don't you realize that we're winning the war? Okay, so that means we're going to have to take every, accept every fight we can. So I'm going to accept this one, and we'll just blow through it as quickly as possible. In fact, what do we have here? Ah, the St. George is the lead. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's speed through this. All we're going to do is get the St. George to run at them as quickly as possible. Is this a convoy raid? Oh, it is. Damn it. That means that we actually... Whoops. Okay. All right. So let's see. The main action here is going to be get you guys into... Line ahead. Let's go up to 19 with them. Um, we want to be on the north side, so we'll have to... Are you in a group with anyone? No. Okay. Squad max. Squad max. And Tiger, you're going to be the one who actually ends up sinking all these other ships. So let's see what happens here. Oh, that is the, the ships themselves. Where are their escorts? We'd like to come in from the north, because that'll put us at a wind advantage. So we'll start swinging over to the north. Tiger, go lead the way. How can we lose this? We have two of our veteran ships here. Okay, let's just go for a while. Oh, well that's definitely one way we can lose it. Dead calm, so I'm not worried about the wind. I just noticed that. Great. And, okay, darkness is coming soon. We need to get people into the fight very soon, hopefully before torpedoes are launched everywhere, but we will encourage torpedo launching as well. We just can't forget where they were. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's just everyone's making a beeline to the enemy ships. All right, Aurora, you are a little bit out of position. Just be careful. I mean, we, we don't have to risk this fight anyways. We'll just, you know what, we'll just sink a few of their ships and leave. Ah, that's a merchant ship then. I would like to kill that. This is actually, I think when you're a merchant raider, the best situation for you is to be at nighttime, to be honest. Because you can just go in, sink them, and get out. But if they have Nembo classes, we're really good going in with light cruisers. Of course, we'd be even better if we were going in not at nighttime then, but that's fine. 
Okay, so Tiger, be a little bit careful. And you guys are all good. Which means I should be a little careful with my St. George. Okay, there it goes. Probably have some guys go to AI control, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. We're going to end up sinking probably all these guys. Okay, I, we're definitely sinking some ships. I don't... I hope we're not going to run into each other with um, our torpedoes. Yeah, I mean, we're doing a lot of sinking. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's their armored... Well, the St. George is on the case. That will soon be the end of her. Very good. Maybe we even just do that single pass and then leave... Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. That'll keep this episode pretty short as well. So good. I really like that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and risk it. One more pass through. Let's get everyone to go 20. I'll let you guys catch up a little first. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's really good news. This is certainly going to be a win. We just crushed their... Oh, the tiger. <laughs> the tiger got the kill there. That's pretty cool. Actually, support line ahead. Okay, let's let the guys go to AI control and then just take control of the St. George. Go down to 19. Okay, keep going. Good job, St. George. It's crazy. Crazy ass tiger. Does not care. faster. Well, there's still some ships here. Let's just sink them all. No reason not to. Oh, it must already be sinking. Okay, fine. Okay, let's go down to cruise and call this episode to a close. What? Oh, their light cruisers came. Now, this is interesting. Do I attempt to engage? I mean, we already got off some good hits. Oh my gosh, well this is really not good. <laughs> okay, now we disengage. Okay. Uh, let's go. Very good. That was spectacular. And a really good disengagement too. Okay, go down to cruise again. Actually, let's go 16 because they might try to pursue. Yeah, but we can just make our way down this way or something. And that should be the end of this. We did our job anyways. We got in. Like I said, the poor visibility can actually be a huge advantage for a convoy raider. And, you know, even though they were just like cruisers, I was worried about being hit by a torpedo. That's the reason why I decided to just abandon the whole idea of staying doesn't seem like it's worth it if you're going to lose, you know, ships to torpedoes because we always lose ships to torpedoes. Let's go cruise now. Okay, very good. So we ended up sinking one of their destroyers and eh, didn't really do any damage to anyone, but it's, you know, still going to be a victory for us. Every ship counts is that's I think a destroyer is one single point. So we'll take it. Okay. So now you can see that we're still blockading them, which is fantastic. Um how are they able to do any merchant raiding. It's kind of a surprise to me. Hmm. And amazingly, our monthly balance is only negative 2 million. I thought it was negative 8 million. Oh yeah, of course, because we're actually finishing the ships that are being, you know, that we're going to take so long to be built. These are still 12 months away. Gosh, it's a long time. But yeah, our blockade will be putting pressure on them from now on. Okay, torpedoes, cruiser battle. I think we're probably okay to decline these minor ones now, even though, you know, we have the advantage. So what I'll do is accept this, call this episode to a close, and I'll do this one off camera.
this is going to be a really small battle too. Yeah, but you know, with the tiger, we're assured of victory, right? So, anyway, thanks for watching this episode. I hope this war with—I mean, it's insane. We're through only through 1906, and I feel like this series has gone on through almost 20 episodes already. So, so thanks for watching. We have plenty of new ships on the way, and again, um, so maybe I won't air that last episode. I, I don't know, but. <laughs> But let me know if you what your thoughts are on the airing of the episodes, um, because I'm fine. I'm having fun with this series no matter what. But what are you guys interested in? Do you prefer to see this short range fight that um, happened in the rain, where I sank their battleship and had three damaged battleships of my own, and the tiger got hit, and it was kind of an interesting fight? But do you prefer to see those kind of episodes, or do you prefer not to? I'm already going to not show you the light cruiser battles. Those are not. Um, interesting enough, but I mean, I'm playing any of them. I'm just interested in knowing what you guys are interested in seeing. So anyways, thanks for watching. Leave me your feedback if you have any, and stay tuned for the next episode where it should be um, hopefully the end of the Italian War, but if not, it'll be a big engagement with our new battleships. So until then, take care.